Hey Taurus, welcome to your soul path reading. Um, as I was getting ready to do this, I looked at the clock. It was one, two, three, and the song that was playing in my head was Pink's Try. So, uh, you know, it may be just symbolism for you to, right, to try to make those little steps forward. Okay. For those of you that are new, I'm an intuitive. So a lot of what you see on the channel will not be traditional. Just take it as it resonates. Leave the rest behind. Okay, if it doesn't sound like it's for you, then it isn't for you, right? And just release it. Um, all of my readings are timeless. They are fluid. If it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. For those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate you. Much love to you because you're why I keep coming back. Also, for those that may wonder, tomorrow these two babies, right, uh, are available. Celestial Spark, the stories, channeled stories for the 13 signs of the zodiac. And then my From the Diary of Wu, okay, which is the shamanic path that I went through. All right, for the collective, you are having a soul expansion. It feels like a birth. It may be a little painful at times, but it is worth every minute of it because you're birthing, right? This inner child, this beautiful new adventure that you will be moving towards, okay? I love that. So we're looking at those seven mirrors. If there's any thing you need from me, right? Go ahead and find me at mindsetunicorn.me. You can also connect with me by commenting below. Don't forget to like and share so that others can find the videos. Subscribe so that you know when I post videos. I've already finished your videos for next week so that I can enjoy my family. I'm doing little sneak previews on TikTok. It's also at Mindset Unicorn there if you would like to go check it out. Okay, so self-reflection, all right? Fears. Okay, ancestral wounds. Okay, soul retrieval. Or no karmic issues, karmic lessons, soul retrieval. Okay, biases and judgments. Thank you. And at the heart of it, in you, I see me. That is the divine partnerships. Okay. So self-reflection. Okay, Moon and Aries. Courage. Believe in yourself. Okay. That's a biggie right there, right? What if it was easy to believe that you have transformed, that you are where you are supposed to be? Okay, I feel like you struggle with that. Perhaps working on this, by the time you get into the new year, you'll have this blossoming, okay? Especially right as we get into the new year, we're moving into a Mercury retrograde. We have that new moon. Okay, I feel like all of that can help you speed through this coming into your own warrior energy. Your fears, eclipse in cancer, okay, acceptance. I feel like you fear getting lost in the emotions, um, right? Again, there is a very emotional warrior within you, but you... Right, you spend a lot of time reflecting on things rather than pushing through on things. And your fear is that you're, it's just gonna be accepted that this is all you are, right? Again, it comes back to that, that self-reflection because your ancestral wounds are you, okay? Sun and Taurus, uh, practicalities, like, I feel like they're showing me with the coins. I feel like perhaps you were named after an ancestor or um, you were expected to live up 
to some sort of standard within your family, uh, take over things like you were going to be this next something or other, right? But it's not what you want. And you have these wounds of carrying this heavy pressure of who you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to be doing. Like they're kind of reminding me of like um, my father-in-law, right? His name. And then he was named after an uncle that passed in a fire. Okay. And then he named his son with that name. And now my husband, right, has this piece of burned shirt, right? Like that's a lot of pressure. Like someone didn't get to complete their life. So we're putting all the pressure on you to go like live this life for them instead of living this life for you. So it's kind of how it feels to me. All right. So uh, karmic lessons here. Eclipse in Scorpio. Stand firm in the eye of the storm. Okay, regeneration. I feel like some of you really want, like there's someone you really want to marry. You may be or be with, you may be in a karmic relationship, okay, and it's stormy, right? And this is part of the lessons, right, is you're in the eye of the storm. What are you learning? What are the lessons so that you can move past the karmic lesson? All right. Soul retrieval, moon in Virgo. It's retrieving the intuitive part of yourself, right? Um, and then being happy with this fact that you can see things that others can't. Okay. You may struggle with that part of yourself. Biases and judgment, sun in Scorpio, passion. Okay, you see others being passionate the way you want to be passionate and you have a bias against them for it only because you're not moving past your karmic lessons. At the heart of it in you, I see me, sun in Leo, right? The emperor, joy, okay, flow, celebration, if you have met your person, this is everything they create within you, okay, which is really beautiful. So let's go ahead and get a little more clarity here, okay? So the courage to be who you have transformed into being, right? Six of Wands. Some of you don't want people to see that you've changed. And you might be might be hiding in some red flag sort of behavior uh, that could be drinking, okay, uh, just any sort of like over shopping, over watching TV, right? Like there's things that you're doing, right? Look at that five of cups, right? Because you don't want to face this fact that you have done this healing. Okay, that was my daughter texting me. I don't know why she's texting me. It wasn't anything important. It was Oliver. He went to a store and he was being scowled. He was just being polite. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so, okay, your fears is opening up emotionally and being swallowed up whole by it, right? Or just accepting that this is all that there is, right? Look, there we go, the moon. The moon really controls your emotions, okay? And it brings up all of those fears, especially from childhood, okay? Devil in reverse. There is a part of you, especially because of whatever the red flag behavior is, there is a part of you that is afraid to, like, I don't want to become that person or go back to being that person. And you're fearful if you move into the emotions that that's what's going to happen. Okay. Ancestral wounds. Yeah. Okay. Inner child. 
right? Four of cups here, three of cups in reverse. You're not going after what you want and desire, again, because you are not living your life, right? You're being practical. Seven of Wands, okay? There you are, Taurus. Sun in Taurus. Here you are. The bull is not practical, okay? The bull is not practical. The bull is in charge. When you run with the bulls, you run with the bulls or you get gored, right? You are in charge, higher level, okay? And that's what you need to release from your ancestors and be like, that is not my goal, my purpose, right? I am here to be me, okay? Karmic lessons. Two of Wands and the Emperor. Again, right? You're at the crossroads. You worked so hard on yourself that you are either in that Emperor's energy or ready for your Emperor, right? Breakthrough is coming for a rebirth. But you have to be able to walk away from the karmic lessons. You have to learn them. All right. Soul Retrieval. You are an intuitive, okay, right? Ace of Cups. Love yourself as you are. Emotionally accept your abilities, okay? Cross by here, Eight of Wands. Don't be afraid to speak about it, talk about it. Connect with others that are like you, right? That get the way your brain works and they don't judge you. That's going to be a key for you moving forward. Okay, biases and judgments here, right? Finish the transformation, and then you can have that passion as well, right? You have to go through all of this, right? Ace of Pentacles, new play, new beginning. In you, I see me. Sun in Leo, right? King of Swords, okay? Watching the sunrise. Watching your joy rise. Ready for that new beginning, the new communication, the new path forward. Okay, Page of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Swords, right? You cannot have entanglement. Right? King of Swords, Queen of Swords. You cannot have the entanglement of all of this in between you, right? That's what comes between. That's what's in between the King and the Queen, right? Highest love of all. And that is what you are being called to. Okay? So, what else does Spirit want to advise you on with all of this? Okay, yeah, move forward, Knight of Wands, okay? Don't waste a minute more. Come into the new year, leap ahead, be the you that you want to be, okay? Page of Cups, your divine partner is waiting for you, right? For you to love yourself enough to move forward to this, right? Page of Cups to the Empress, Okay, now we have the emperor and the empress here. And the empress has a child in its womb. And so for some of you, I'm really getting that this person is waiting for you, that there are souls in heaven, at least one, that is waiting for you for its birth, okay? But it won't happen if you don't get past these karmic lessons and move into this higher state, okay? Seven of Pentacles, some of you have done all right for yourself, right? But you've only got half the apple, right? You're like, oh, I've gotten, I've gotten what I've wished for. Not completely, right? Because you're missing half of what you have wished for. Okay, Ace of Swords in reverse. You feel like you don't have the key, but you are the key. 
it's unwinding those karmic lessons that will allow you to move forward. Okay. Yeah, five of swords. There is already emotional distance here between you and your past. It really is, right, just allowing yourself to move forward. Okay. What else here, spirit? Okay, release your ex. You deserve love. Okay, the time has come for you to clear out the old karmic energies, even just any soul contracts that may be keeping you stagnant. Could be a job, could be another person, right? It's safe for you to love, right? Open up your heart. Realize that you've done the work, right? This card has jumped and jumped and jumped. Okay, the Empress. It's safe for you to open up to this possibility. You kept yourself separate from what you wanted out of fears of people seeing who you are, people saying, oh, you're just like so-and-so, of people being like, oh, you know, you deserve whatever you get, but you do deserve what you get. And it's going to be beautiful, right? Look, pull back away from those idiots, okay, that don't know what they're talking about. Disconnect from the toxicity and just be enamored of yourself and the love that you deserve. Okay, yeah, because where you're at right now, this karmic energy is unrequited. There's maybe chemistry here, but there's not enough to really sustain you in the long run. Okay, so let's go ahead and close it off with an oracle. I hope that this helps you. Don't forget to like on this message so that others can find the channel. Okay, yeah. You're done with the past, okay? The moon has illuminated for you that there is a new direction, okay? The south shedding the old skin so you can grow into your new skin. And emotionally, right, you're ready to create this peace and this serenity and this joy, okay? 29, the 11. We've got an 11 and a 2, which really is, right, 2-2, two, two. okay? You're moving forward. For some of you, it might be that um, the 2-2 two, two portal is going to be very important for you next year. So I hope this helps you, Taurus. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your week. Enjoy your end of the year uh, readings. I... Um, also put out a bonus timeless reading that you may not have seen before because it comes from Patreon, uh, but hopefully it will invigorate you. So much love, my friends, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.